My parents moved from Hong Kong to Shanghai when I was five, so I basically grew up there. For those who don't know, Hong Kong feels very different to mainland China. It has a different language, passport, and of course, cuisine. I was always aware that I was a different type of Chinese growing up in Shanghai. When we were in taxis or restaurants, we spoke Cantonese, and my dad, bless him, has a horrible Cantonese accent when he speaks Mandarin. It's actually an ongoing joke that Cantonese people speak horrible Mandarin. So it was clear that we weren't locals. And if you're wondering, well, how different can it sound? Can you still understand each other? And the answer is not really. My grandparents, for example, who never learned Mandarin, have absolutely no idea what was going on when they visited us. Take the name of this dish, for example. In Mandarin, it's called Hong Shao Rou, and in Cantonese, it's Hong Siu Yong. We even have different names for things like in Mandarin, soy sauce is Jiang Yong, and in Cantonese, it's Si Yao. My point is, I actually feel really grateful that I got to experience both cultures. I mean, without it, I never would have tried sticky, sweet, fatty mainland pork dishes like Hong Shao Rou. 